the Delta State Police Command has declared former Minister of State for Education, Kenneth Maggie, wanted. The decla declaration comes up as petitions indicting the former minister of dehumanizing four of his hotel staff and his refusal to oblige invitations by the Commissioner of Police, CP Mohammed Inoua. In a statement signed by the police public relations officer Onome, the police urged members of the public to furnish the command with information of his whereabouts for his immediate arrest. And joining us live on this matter is Victor Ojay, who is the PRO Delta State Coalition of Civil Societies. Good to have you, Victor. Yeah, good to have me here. Thank you for Thank joining. You for me, yes. Thank you for being with us. Now I'm sure you have seen that story. Um, you're well aware about it. What's your reaction to it? Uh, the question now to ask is that um, a lot of credible civil societies in the other states did petition Chief Kenneth Maggie over the allegation of uh, dehumanization of four persons three female and one male in Delta states. Now, the question we are asking ourselves, upon this, Chief Kenneth Baggy has police officers that are working with him. Before he was able to secure the court order, which is preventing the IG of police and the Commissioner of Police Delta State from arresting him, was it that police officers that were um, that they are following him about. Was it that the police command doesn't know the whereabouts of those police officers prior to Chibagi getting a uh, court order to restrain, restrain anybody or persons or employee from arresting him? You can see now that they are trying to hijack our criminal justice system. That is only the rich that can do away with any act of fundamental rights violation of other citizens that are not rich. Though I know hopefully by seven days time, the court order ought to expire. So the police should look for corners, how to cut corners to ensure that this case is charged to court. Because this is a fundamental rights violation. Mm -hmm. I'm sure and we already have videos, we have pictures, we have petitions that could be used. So since he doesn't want the police to investigate and bring out the criminal element in this um, dehumanization, let the fundamental rights of these citizens be enforced by a federal court of justice. Right. Uh, Kenneth Baggy was a former education minister. You would expect that such behavior, behavior should not come from him. I mean, it shouldn't come from anybody, regardless of who you are. Uh, what does this say, though, about the people who find themselves in leadership position in Nigeria? You know, is declaring him wanted just enough? What we know is that in Nigeria, anybody, even a good, can become something. You don't even need a, a first degree to become anything in Nigeria. And this is bad for our system. Our politicians no longer have ideology. In the days of Awolo, Awolo had ideology on education. And today, look at the results in the Yoruba kingdom. You can see that Yorubas are the most educated in Nigeria. But the recent politicians in Nigeria, they lack ideology. All they know is how to share money among them, themselves and their goons. So it's a shame. So PDP is a shame to the Urobo community and Urobo nation as a tribe, as an ethnic group, that one of their illustrious sons was involved in dehumanization and fundamental rights violations. And yet, till now, he's not yet a call to order. I mean, you work for the uh, civil Coalition for Civil Societies. Uh, you are the PRO there in Delta. How do we yes. ensure that this sort of behavior is not allowed to continue? I beg your pardon? I'm saying, how do we ensure that this sort of behavior from Kenneth uh, 
it's not continued by any other person. It doesn't have to be yes. himself. Yes. What, what have you put in place as what, members? What, what of... we should do is that we should not monetize criminal justice in Nigeria. You can see the lawyer made a mistake initially. He went to sue him for one billion naira. Kenneth Bagg is a trillionaire. He can pay them 10 billion naira and case closed. We don't want persons who feel they are rich to pay for crimes in Nigeria. Mm. Because if Kenneth Bagg should be allowed to pay 10 billion or 1 billion as demanded by the victims and their lawyer, that means everybody or every rich man can commit crime and go ahead to pay you for dehumanizing you or violating your fundamental rights. So we say no to monetization of criminal justice system in Nigeria. In USA, in America, whenever the life of any citizen is violated, citizens come out in mass and protest that they want justice. They are not going to ask for money or demand for money. Though we know along the line, damages will be awarded. But we should not make the world see that we want money simply because our fundamental right was violated. Mm -hmm. So the only way to ensure that this doesn't occur again is to follow the rule of law in Nigeria. There's a provision in the Constitution that makes everybody equal before the law. Right. So can anybody to go to court and face what he has done? Right, thank you so very much, Victor Ojei, for your contributions on this matter. Do keep safe out there. Thank you. Thank you.